anything extracurricular. I was like there, then I went home. He was probably the taller dude in class who didn't play sports. I didn't make the, the yearbook. What you mean? You didn't go? You go on picture day? Honestly, I don't know. I just didn't like. No, you know how they have like all the photos of all the kids like doing fun stuff in class, projects, whatever. Yeah. I, I, nobody took a picture of me I, I the whole y'all time. Try, y'all tried to run a narrative up here. What was that? With the uh, butter guy. You like that? What? I can't believe it's not butter. That's crazy. I can't believe it is butter. I said, yo, what the f- kind of narrative is this? So okay. I cleared that shit up. I didn't like this. You shit. went on Clubhouse after you met FBG Butter, and you basically said that you struck fear in the heart he of, never his, said of that. his friend who had a rap. Did you hear that? I didn't notice any tension, any weirdness. But From what you? I saw, I didn't even see you cross paths with the dude who was wearing the rap a lot chain. There it goes. I never seen it. But then you claimed it on Clubhouse. I claimed it where? You, you heard claimed that, that you punched him out. Did you hear out. that? No, but I heard that that was the idea. But you never heard it? No. But because somebody wrote it in the clickbait title. Did they? You know I brought him on Clubhouse and pressed play for him. And what would you press play on? The content. The content that we did where he explained it on no, Tuesday night? the content that where I was supposed to have said that. Okay. And it wasn't there. Okay, so you didn't have any harsh words. I didn't for- know what the f- to do was. All I knew was Mickey Truth. Mm-hmm. I didn't know nothing about... In none of his history. Did you diss Butter as soon as he walked in the room? Because some people were saying that you said I didn't diss Butter. You said something like "shy rack," but you might have pronounced it "shy rat." I saw that conspiracy theory. I didn't have time to go back uh, and I check it. Shy rack. <laughs> okay, this mother is weird. First of all, Butter, Butter's gang. Butter's cool as. F- Look, first of all, I don't know. I don't know nothing about the dude. Good I guy. keep telling y'all, whatever going on over here, over here, if it ain't crossing my path, you ain't. With me and my people, I really don't know nothing about it. That is patently not true. Your entire <laughs> hobby is I sitting in clubhouse and talking about people you don't know. Bullshit. Who? Give me one. I don't even tune in enough exactly, to know. Exactly, because you're a white boy like you're constantly <laughs> doing what you're You don't know Big Sad. Do. You've devoted many of your lives, no, uh, but, many hours of your life to discussing Big thing. Sad on there. And other people. But hold on. He Again, if you cross me and my people... Then and I got the content. I know the man feels gays to crips. I, I know the, the content. Toll on. I know T money. Thirty four years, thirty five actually. So when my brother come to me and said we got a problem, his boy's a rat. And boom, 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 boom. He declared my boy's name and he delivered the work. Mm. Then I'm gonna run it. Okay. If I got a, a a platform that he doesn't have, then I'm obligated to do that. If T money got access to something that I need that I don't have, right. he's obligated to do that. that. So at the end of the day. Um, when we ran the content back, I said, bro, he here we go. I said, I ain't got a problem with you. I don't have a problem with he your man. Got the- I don't have a problem with no artist signing. He said if he got the platform to run it, <laughs> he's obligated to do that. <laughs> I like getting the bag off that, for sure. Rap a lot. West, Northwest, South. <laughs> Rap a lot, Japan. I got an issue with an individual. So you're saying you never talk about people you don't know on Clubhouse? Everybody I toy, hold on. If the content is dead, Adam, I'm going to ask a question. Adam be on whack, though. He, this, I could tell this going to be one of them ones. Yeah, but right. I'm saying that's what we're Jay all doing. Prince. I know Jay Prince Jr. Who he he just lined up the whole Houston. I know, <laughs> right. I don't know Larry Hoover, but I Hey, that wax stuff, that whack and Jay Prince stuff been going on for a minute, bro. <laughs> he said he liked up the whole Houston. Never talked about Larry Hoover. So you're saying that the person who clipped it and made a title acting as if you were being aggressive towards Butter, that they were being manipulative. Butter said it. He said, yo, bro, I just went off the top. When I press play, he apologized. Okay. He said, bro, I'm wrong. He I said, bro, you tell bro. me. I said, I will be a bitch ass nigga to say on Clubhouse, we pressed you or was plotting to take a chain. I don't take jury i get the jury back i'm not a jury taker you and butter crossing paths though is like so exciting for the youtuber world because they love the la gangster shit and they love the chicago gangster shit they very rarely cross paths but here goes the thing some good did come out of it so i hit 1090j because when i get the that's all i don't care about that's all he care about is gangster stuff Clubhouse, you must have put out something. You put something out. There was a clip of Butter talking about it. Okay, great. So they like, yo, whack, you was with Butter. I was like, yeah, yeah, y'all made him up dead. No jumper. They start talking crazy. He's a this, he's a that, he's a this, he's a that. 
right? Mm. I say, oh shit, I don't know nothing about him. I just know. I said, well, maybe that explains why he didn't want to come in here. Remember, we was calling him, right? It took like 30 seconds for him to come in. Right? It wasn't well, I, like something I called him like then. three, four times, right? But I know that if, you are, if you're a real rat, which <clears throat> me looking at his paperwork, I don't see him ratting. He told on his dead sister, right? Well, I, I, 1090 sent me all the work. Okay. Right? So I'm like... I'm and thinking, that, well, maybe that's why I didn't want to come in here. You're thinking I'm going to get on some bullshit. But I honestly knew nothing about none of that. Okay. So the next day, I hit 1090 when Clubhouse is telling me all this shit. And he sends me everything. So yesterday, we ran it. I go through all the paperwork, all the shit. I find seven, eight people involved. Five people dead that Butter implemented after they was dead. Right. King Von was the key. When King Von passed, right, hey. King Von said, okay, King Von killed the girl Kai. Kai killed uh, Odie. Some other dude killed some dude from like a lot of these Cali. are disputed, but yeah. All, no, all of them are dead. Hmm. The only two alive is Jay, Butter, and a female that's in jail. We got a recording of her interviewing. She never said nobody told on her. So I told him, like, bro, when I see, I don't see you as a rat. You know what I mean, I don't see. So you. the telling on dead people thing, you can see, you see that as excusable. I don't give a f bro. If you tell on the dead, how you t listen, man. But why is it so up and open and shut for Birdman in, in regards Who's to Birdman? gangster? I'm going to say it for the 10th time. You Adam see? been on whack about this Birdman thing, bro. Why Adam, what, what Adam, Adam got an obsession with Birdman or something? You know what they say. Adam say he interviewed a ops, you know. So he was trying to get Birdman on. Birdman didn't come. Probably doing that. I don't know. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Gangster told okay. on other four wires in the joint. Mm. Live living. If, if I'm dead and my homeboy is cuffed. Right. And he got to do 30 years of put it on me. Put it, put it on me. Put it on me. What are they going to do? Baby girl, put it on me. So, you know, end of the day, <laughs> you know, and I couldn't be, I said, but I can't be mad at you because I've been victim to somebody telling me somebody said something mm. and believing it and they were. reacting. And then later and on, it was blood. bullshit. So how do you feel about the characterization that the reason why you took a picture with Butter was as if to say, or did you take a picture with his friend too? Both of them. They asked me to take a was picture. Was that to send a message to Jay Prince? Like, look, I had someone wearing a rap -a chain no, with me. One, I could have crushed his skull with one hand. For one, I never noticed a rap -a chain. Yeah, I don't think you would have either. I, I didn't notice it, right? Two. That's why I was I, so shocked when I saw two, this whole narrative. Two, I could care less. I have nothing against that brother. If he's, he, listen, man. Like, why would you care about a dude? He he's be, wearing a rap a lot Midwest chain. But listen, I wouldn't give a fuck if it was a rap a lot Houston yeah, chain. Yeah, he is a fuck, right? This dude could be signed to rap a lot today and leave and go to Empire. He talking about, bro, he just had him on this platform. Adam, weird, bro. All right, next month, right? Now, if the artist choose to want to get some brownie points for his boss, then that's a different thing. But as far as me, like every artist from rap, I don't, I don't give a fuck about. I have no issues if you sign a rapper. If you had some real deal life or death ass beef, and you ran into someone who was wearing a chain of that same label or crew or whatever, then I could see you maybe. I feel like that's dumb, bro, because it makes no sense, bro. That's business. So you going to involve the streets in some business stuff. He probably don't even know what, what the beef about, bro. He from a whole nother region, bro. Adam is just messy. <laughs> we all know that, bro. Doing some troll shit like that, but I don't think you and not Jay Prince do thing, it. it's not so big that you can't see this dude wearing this chain without making some big weird thing. I've been having a real deal beef. Because they might have, that's from five years ago. Mm. He might have just signed this young man six months ago. Right. Why would, would I subject him to some bullshit? That don't even make sense. Not to me, though. Whatever they do, they do. My issue is with that person because guess what? You already running a risk of having an issue with anybody. So why factor in a totally new guy who you know nothing about? Mm. For what? Right? It's not on him that he got a deal, and that's where it's at. Good for him. So I brought him on Clubhouse, showed him some love, let him know what it was. We played his music, mm. you know.
Bro, <clears throat> Clubhouse got like a whole nother world. Like, that's a whole nother internet world, bro. Got him some followers on Spotify, Instagram. Let him speak his piece, introduce himself. Clear it up like, you know, like men do, because it was never a problem. Mm. I never said it. Right. You know me, Adam. If I said it, I'm going to tell you I said it. I don't give a f I believe you. You know what I mean? When it you, would be weird to see you beefing with dudes who are it like was weird. 25 it, years younger than no, you. No, but from, it was from cool. a different part of the country. We had no issues. No, yeah. That's how I perceived it. I was, I was really surprised. It was weird. This, yeah. But I said, Remo, you got the clip. You're like, yeah, you know what Remo does. Remo good at letting the content content <laughs> and then playing dumb like he did. They always know. accuse me of that. Like he. Remo do be playing dumb, though. I ain't going to lie. But Remo smart. He just marketing. That's it, bro. He know he know what everybody want. He, they want that Chicago drill. That's like attractive to a lot of these people. You feel me? So he know what he know will get the clicks. He did know, but he knew, right? Uh -huh. I said, Remo, he said, yeah, I, I heard the clip, but you didn't say nothing. I said, well, why you didn't tell your man? Oh, uh, you know, they wanted to come up there and talk about it. So Remo played it for the content. So I get it. We had to ask him. What was surprising to get a good clip. and shocking, Remo, though, Remo. is Brick Baby That's for the it, first man. time speaking level-headed. How about you? That was shocking. What was he, it? No, he said, he said, I don't think whack. <clears throat> he was on some bullshit. He was on some bullshit. Right. And I'm not that type of dude to be like taking jury. That ain't me. Right. Well, nobody suggested you took it or threatening uh, to take it. Right. Want to take it. Right. Does that do? That would have been a very different level, a different level of escalation. First of all, I'm not going to pull a robbery in my place of business. It's crazy. Right. Why would I do that? Right. You know that. Um, Anybody that does that is a bozo, idiot, buffoon. He's a clown. You deserve everything coming to you, bro. Why would you do that? At, well, you don't mix business with the streets, bro. That is a disrespect to you, no jumper. And it just, like, my character up. Yeah, that would be very, that's a little kid shit. Yeah, but, like, bro, your wife comes here. Right. You know what I'm saying? You she don't. squats on. You don't. Oh, there's my right here. I'm just saying. I get my ass licked here. Your wife. Bro, is weird. Y'all heard what he just said? Sometimes by her. Mostly not her. She's she's been with me long enough to stop what licking my asshole. What if you find out she's cheating on you? There's zero chance. Would you care? What if you find out, baby, you're keeping Rob? We all know for a proven fact that she's cheating on him, bro. It's a proven fact, bro. Hey, she don't really want to be with him, bro. Was snitching on you. No, I'm saying it's, it's always a possibility for anything when it comes to your woman. Okay. Real men... We don't put nothing past them. And real women ain't gonna put nothing past us. So you think it's never a situation where she can cheat on you? No. And cheating on you is if she has a sexual situation without you knowing. No, never. That's cheating on you, right? Because it's weird with you because you allow things to happen. Right. So cheating on you is she does something behind your back. Impossible. Okay. That's where I'm at. Cool. I have a level of security in my relationship that very few people would understand. If you say so. She could have that whack 100 dick dangling in her face. Ugh. Go away, yuck. She gonna be like, let's make some content. Nah, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. I don't know what she'll do. I don't even know who she is. I just know that she's a bopper, bopper. She's a bopper, bopper, like choppers. Do you believe that? I know. It'd probably be hard to say no to that thing. Oh. It'll put you in a trance when it's waving back and forth. Listen, man. Stop talking about my swipe. King dingling. Huh. Huh. Listen, huh. so you don't you don't think ever in life she could cheat on you? No. She loves you that much. Tap that. Gotcha. I respect <laughs> it. Wag knows something, I think, man. He said, got you. He knows something. He, or he just messing with out of mind. He know how to, <clears throat> he like a brainiac. He know how to get in people's minds and have them thinking. I can't cheat on her. He did it to Brick Baby. Her either. No, you won't do it? I mean, no, I can't. What do you mean you can't? She's just showing me too much loyalty. 
So you can't or you won't. I won't. I can't lie to her. I feel that. I feel that. And I know what that feels like. You know, and you're really tapped in. You just really like you know you're on the same mission. She's I'd have lady. to do a real dirty. She's a good lady to open that up. You hear about this shit going on in Houston? Jay Prince. Uh, yeah, uh, what, what, what's he doing? <laughs> oh, it's all, okay. First of all, he um. About a week or two, he starts an argument in the strip club, uh, um, <laughs> trying to uh, debo some niggas' girls. Jay Prince Jr. Yeah, Junior. So he starts an argument trying to take some bitches from some dudes. It's like deboing them. You know, dude be taking pussy and he aggressive with the women. Well, don't say taking pussy. He got cases, bro. He got cases. I don't know about that. Yeah, seal files, all kind of shit. I what? got the lady in Atlanta. He got the last one. She from Come On Clubhouse. I, I spent some money and contacted her. But nevertheless, his security, uh, Mikey Mike. Right? What? <clears throat> Did I just hear what I just heard? What y'all think, man? They gotta show me. Show me. Okay. So Jay Prince Jr. puts this dude in a situation. He on some bullshit that don't need to be happening. Next thing you know, boom, hit him in the face. Mm. Shoot him, right? They shot him? Yeah. They shot the guy that they were trying to take the girls from. No. They shot the security with Jay Prince Jr. Oh. So instead of Jay Prince Jr. going up here and handling his business, right, he get into all this shit. Now, he ain't the one shot him. He didn't want his man shot. But because of his dumb ass actions, right, he get his man hit. He tracks out, runs to a club, club like 29 or something. They won't let him in because the last time the shit happened with takeoff, he ran over there and damn near got the club indicted. They're like, nigga, you can't come in here. We already got the call. Wow. So he go hides out, leave his man over there. Man could have been alive, but he don't, you know, he tracks out to Atlanta, right? But this is what's ugly. I get the call an hour ago saying what? They ain't contributing to the dude's funeral. They sent me their bitch rare and everything, right? But four days ago, I get a call from this chick. She say, whack, get off J. Prince Jr. I said, what you mean? Get off on what you mean? Leave him alone. I was with him. I've been with him for a few years. He got a call. He stepped out on the balcony. I hear him saying, okay, what, 80 to 100? Okay, I'm out the way. He hangs up, calls somebody else to say, hey, get from over there, stay from over there. Then, you know, they say they're going to come through. They talking about 80 to 100. So I tell the chick, he probably doing some dirty talking on the phone, buy some marijuana, some dumb shit, right? <laughs> I'm on Clubhouse telling my Houston boys, yo, boom, 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 the same story. They weighed me down. They say, yo, whack. The feds just did a sweep and picked up a hundred yesterday. A hundred pounds. Hundred people. People. Yesterday. So the call he was having, I was wrong. I wonder if it's true, man. I don't know, man. We got to see, man. You know, people say a lot of things, but I got to see it. What about that? It's about, so I'm thinking, I'm like, they said, what? How no you tell us this three days ago about this call you got, right? I said, yo, y'all know dude ain't right. He ain't all the way right anyway. So I'm sitting back and I'm watching the show and I'm wondering, it's a lot going on down there in Houston. The club scene's been torn apart. Thought that situation is what it is. And I'm asking myself, he's tied to finesse two times, a known rat. Right, we, we <laughs> provide the paperwork, and I'm asking myself, is this what the new gangster is? So you're saying that you think that Jay Prince Jr. was on the phone directing the feds to arrest a hundred? Bro, ain't no way a female gonna call and tell me this shit four days ago, warning me, leave him alone. This dude is having weird conversations. I didn't think nothing of it. I'm thinking the just regulars on the phone. Uh -huh. And then just today, I'm on the clubhouse flow telling the story. They said, yo, they just came yesterday and picked up 100 people. 100 people where? Feds like, in Houston. Just random drug dealers from all over all the city? All over the city. Wow. 
I don't know. Yeah, they need to watch out down so there. Is any of this in the media at all, or this is definitely all definitely in the media? Speculation. Okay. You want to see it? I haven't seen it. Okay. It was only because you ain't keeping up with. <laughs> I'm not. I, you, I come on here you and you keep bring up. these interesting. Little Boosie. Uh, little oh. Boosie. I got something about him too. Yeah. Oh. That's nasty work. Junior. You seen what they did to him? Oh, that is insane. Yeah. Yeah, but see, Black 100 goes off on. Jerry. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This. This 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 crazy right here, man. What y'all think about all this, man? They finna get on Boosie. Y'all wanna see what they got to say about Boosie. It's gonna be a long one, man. So make sure if y'all made it this far in the video, make sure y'all hit the like button, comment down below. Subscribe if you new. Don't forget, we on the road to 5,000. We gonna, we gonna get it. Prince Jr. on live, must see. See, it's must see, but I didn't see it. That seems bad. Um, what was that? But what, J Prince yeah. It's mostly about the uh, Cam and Mace thing. Oh. Wack 100 responds to J Prince and destroys him. He had a Rico case and got popped with 50 keys. That's seven Ray, hours that's ago. That's Ray Gibbs TV. Ray, Ray, Ray Gibbs. Gibbs TV. He got some exclusive shit. Clubhouse TV got exclusive shit. Wack 100 Clubhouse blacks out on well. Houston Goon regarding J Prince Jr. getting his security killed. Yeah, go. That seems like an Who's inaccurate that? title, right? That's right. I don't know he didn't what get happened. His security killed. His it's security his mouth. Just got killed. It's his mouth. Oh, you're saying that? Okay. It's his mouth. It's that booty chin. He got up on that beard. I be hating no niggas with beards though, because I can't grow up. <laughs> What's wrong with the booty chins? I got a booty chin. You really can't grow one at I all. I tried to. What? Just then, nothing comes in. I tried in? to do the chin strap. I just don't. I don't know. We're just you got nothing to connect the straps to. Oh, no, I don't. You stop it right here. Just, just a line to up there. Yeah. You're getting by without a, without a beard. Yeah, I don't need it. I'm cool. I feel like it's it's tough. Like, as a man. I sucks to line it on my wife's pussy. Disgusting. A the you average I mean? man looks a lot better with a beard than without. What's a wife? Unless. Is a wife somebody you married to, or is it the woman you with? It's both of those things. There you go. I'm glad you said that. I'm I mean, glad not you said that. Wait, but all I'm saying is. Shout out to R&B. It's up? hard to have like unless you're in extremely good shape a beard will make you look better as a man that's real now if you have a yeah. pack and you got a chiseled jawline you probably yeah. don't need a beard but i think in maybe, general for a man maybe studying men too much the beard makes them look better gotcha. that's just me i have nothing to offer about what you're saying about j prince jr uh it's i, up, I wish him the best of luck who oh. j prince that nigga no listen okay. end of the day Dang. I'm telling everybody right now, Wack 100 got a clean slate. If you out there doing foul, crooked shit, leave me alone. I will expose you. Mm. I am an exposer. So if you knew that I was trafficking heroin, you'd be happy to get me caught up? What do you mean, dummy? That mean I'm a snitch. No, idiot. But you just snitched on him, right? How? Well, I guess snitching on alleged snitching. How? You just... Made it sound as if like you, you, no, that's you right spoke TV. about a phone call that you heard from a secondhand source. Yeah, that he's may telling, have been construed. He's working with them people. I just think any time a female could tell me four days prior, leave him alone. This dude's on the phone talking about some shit's gonna go down, and three days later, that city gets swept with eighty to a hundred people. <laughs> oh no, it's some weird there, bro. Okay. Well, that's a fact. We'll, we'll never know. <laughs> and let me kick. All right, man. <laughs> this shit funny, man. Make sure y'all hit the like button, man. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. It's J. Prince Jr. up here. Me and you gonna get out. Why? You hate him that much? <laughs> I catch him up here, no jumper. Let me catch that. He bet not ever get an interview up here. I had him on the podcast 2019. Yeah, okay, but he bet not come now. He is welcome here anytime. No, he I will roll out the red carpet. Try me. J. Prince Jr., you are invited. <laughs> he Adam for real, though. Let's see if he really come, though. Adam for real, though. He not playing, y'all. J. Prince Jr. interview on the way. <laughs> Come pay us a visit. He's too scared to come up here. Scared. That oh, dude ain't coming up here. You know I'm in the building. And you know Mob better. Ties, buddy. And you know better. Mm. I'm not going for it. Yeah, think, you know better. I think he um he'd be able to do his thingy thing out here. Okay, we'll see. I dare him to. Another rapper who was doing his thingy thing out here. You see Rowdy Rebel? You see what he said? Who's that? LA. Suck my dick.
and he can't come back. <laughs> I don't think he can come back. Him or anything tied to him, bet not. Really? See, it's one thing, right? He goes the thing. Uh, uh, the little youngster from A. Trey Hoover already identified who he is. He identified who he is, what he did, and that's what it is. His name, all that, right? You're talking about Block, sir? Yeah. Okay. So that's what I guess he's mad about that. This is how you know you got a month don't understand what's going on, right? Rest in peace, Biggie, and, uh, you know, rest in peace, Biggie Smalls. If he would have directed that Roddy Rebel, I mean, that Rock Block Star, yeah, yeah. or even the Hoovers, right? that's isolated. The game got a song that says... Crips, Bloods, Essays, Asians, White Boys, Jamaicans. You just diss Paul Roos, all the Crip tribes, mm. all the Blood tribes, the Sureños, right? Or Samoan, or, you know, our Islanders tribe, they deep. You said, all L.A., suck my dick. And he did so at a time in which it feels like there's a lot more L.A. pride than we've seen in recent, Yo, bro, recent years. Dude, dude, like, I, like, so now he can never go on a flyer mm. because now you said the whole blanket. Mm. And then and who he tied to? He tied to the little wiggle diggle, the wiggle dance dude, right? Bobby Schmurder. Bobby Schmurder, right? Wiggle dance. Now, <laughs> on some real... He said the wiggle dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god bro oh shit if they don't see him because they know that's bobby smurder man like he put him on it's a possibility they might trip my question is just how motivated are you really telling me that la residents la members would be given that uh, now the hoovers totally understand that yeah man make sure y'all like comment and subscribe man we on the road to five like i said I'm out.